We've got him. I know he's your favourite. Every week we speak to one of the finest thinkers of his generation, the best-selling author of inspired works, including The Strange Death of Europe, The War on the West and The Madness of Crowds. Douglas, let's start with what could be the end of Joe Biden's run for re-election. A special counsel report found he willfully retained and disclosed classified documents at his home, but no charges were recommended because the 81-year-old commander-in-chief is greatly diminished mentally. The report not only noted Biden's diminished faculties and lack of mental state of willfulness, but it also noted Joe Biden couldn't even remember when he was vice president. So he's too diminished to stand trial, but he can run the most powerful country in the world? I know. It, it was an astonishing uh, revelation, this, Rita. It came out late yesterday and uh, it just many people said immediately, well, that's it. Clearly, the Democrats are trying to finally push Joe Biden off the nomination ticket because this this revelation, as it were, from within, I mean, it's, not, it's not coming from the Republicans, uh, this revelation that during his questioning, he couldn't remember when, which years he'd been vice president. He couldn't remember, I think, when he'd, the year he'd run for president. And it was clear they, they didn't want to go ahead because uh, a, a jury would find that he had not enough cognitive ability to 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 mm. talk about his own uh, experience and the idea that this same man is in the most powerful position in the world is something which is just it's a scandal you and I have talked about before the democrats have clearly been trying to cover it over they've been hoping he'll get better um or something like that or it'll become less <laughs> noticeable and they can just they can just allow him to to roll on and and the fact is though again we saw this only in in the press conference he gave to say in response to these revelations no i'm okay during the press conference he said he just had a conversation with president cc of of um of mexico um <laughs> and um, yeah. as you know president C is not the president of mexico it's uh, he's president of egypt no. but uh, there was a time we just said that was a normal biden gaffe but now it looks now it looks like it's not just a normal Biden gaffe. It's really rather sad. And if he wasn't protected by the bulk of the media all this time, today wouldn't be so shocking. But if you've paid attention and we've discussed it, what, for more than three years now, even whilst he was running for president, the cognitive decline there it has been obvious and, yeah, for reasons that defy logic, his handlers had him address the nation today. It did not go well. He lashed out at the special counsel and at the reporters who questioned him about his uh, cognitive abilities. For months when you were asked about your age, you would respond with the words, watch me. Well, many American people have been watching and they have expressed concerns about your age. That is they, your judgment. They, that is your judgment. That court, is not the judgment of the press. That's not, that's not the judgment of the press. She is the press. And as you mentioned, he also seemed to think uh, Mexico shares a border with Gaza. He mixed up the Egyptian leader, leader with that of Mexico. As you know, initially, the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. I talked to him. I convinced him to open the gate. Douglas, uh, what happens next? Can he run again? Well, I'd have thought it's just increasingly clear that he can't. But as we know, there is this kind of uh, extraordinary situation that Biden has, which is that the Democrats believe that if there's any major shakeup on their ticket this year, it'll all just be an advantage to Donald Trump, who's certainly the most likely person by a very far margin. Uh, to become the Republican nominee. And effectively, Trump and Biden have been sort of like this. They've been leaning on each other. And both parties think if their guy goes, then then they collapse. Um, now, the Republicans may or may not be right in that. But the Democrats, I think, to an extent, are right in that. Because, you know, the question for them is they, they don't have a very good bench. Uh, of uh, of people in their party, they may have coming up. There are some talented younger congressmen and, and and so on, congresswomen in in the Democratic Party. There's also some absolute left wing nutters, 
Um, but the but the, the main thing is, is that it's not obvious who would replace uh, uh, Biden as the nominee, particularly at relatively late stage. Uh, obviously, it can't be Kamala Harris, who who, who we know, uh, you know, in, in mm. the po- the polls show that the American public regard as absolutely unfit for the presidency. Um, uh, but but they have to sort of find some way to deal with the the Kamala problem, and then you got you know somebody like Gavin Newsom of of, of California, and we've just seen your previous segment, mm. Rita. You know, wh- what what did he do to California? He, he did that. He did that. He made it mm. a state in which theft was 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 legal. He's, he's been a disaster in every role that he's uh, served, but he keeps mm-hmm. failing up and, uh, gosh, he could be president one day.